But most importantly, this PC is actually good and it's handling Black Ops 6 with high settings above 60 FPS. I just built this PC a couple days ago to play the new Call of Duty Black Ops 6. I set a budget to be under $500 and I bought every part on eBay I didn't go over budget, but can it play the game? Yes, it actually can. Activision has a recommendation on what specs are needed to run the game at 60 FPS with high settings. So that's what I built the computer around. Plus I made a couple tweaks for better performance. Let's go back to when I got all the parts. That way you know every component that you need if you wanna build this computer for yourself. Okay, we have all the parts in the car. The only thing I'm waiting on is the case. And actually that's the only part I didn't buy from eBay but luckily it should get here tomorrow. I sure am excited to play Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Today is the 21st, gets released in four days. I told myself I was never gonna buy another Call of Duty because they're always fun, but then they're always boring and you know, you're just out 70 bucks. I'm back with the case and a fresh cut, but let's go and open this thing up so we can get this build started. As I said earlier, I didn't buy this case on eBay. I actually didn't even buy it at all. Okinos reached out and they wanted to sponsor a video with their new Cypress 7. And I thought it would be perfect for this Black Ops 6 PC build because it's almost an all black mid tower PC case. You might've heard of Okinos before. They have their super popular Okinos Aqua 3 in black and white. And they also have an Aqua 7 and they also sell their own cable extensions for pretty affordable prices. The Cypress 7 is completely different from all of their other cases. This one is sleek, this one is elegant, and it's super minimal. This case is coming in at $80, and for that price, you get a full-size mid-tower case, almost with an all-blacked-out look, except it has this touch of walnut in the front, which is really nice. This thing comes loaded up with four pre-installed all-black PWM fans, it also supports a 360 millimeter AIO in the top, a 360 millimeter AIO in the front, and a 240 on the side. Yeah, this thing is great for airflow, mesh all over in the front, on the side, the power supply basement, and also on the top. For the top IO, you have the power button, the reset switch, a combined headphone and microphone jack, then you have USB 3.0 ports, and one USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 2 port. Now to access the inside of the case, it's a nice toolless design. The tempered glass panels on a hinge, and it also has magnets. Anyways, this case is super clean. I'm really excited to build in it. I wanna give a big thank you to Okinos for sending that Cypress 7 out and for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in checking out the Cypress 7, it'll be linked down below. But now I'm going to open up all of these computer parts and hopefully everything works. I'm making this video as everything happens. I just unbox everything. And I don't even know if these parts are going to work yet. Now, before I hook up that power supply to all these parts to see if they work, I'm going to test the power supply first. Well, this thing is running perfectly. There's the voltages right there. Moment of truth, please everything work. Okay, fans are instantly spinning. CPU doesn't have a cooler on it, so I'm gonna keep my thumb on it. Come on, baby. Well, no post, and the CPU is getting hot. We have a red light here, we had a CPU light. I put a cooler on this Ryzen 5 so it could run longer, and we finally made it to the BIOS. I was getting really nervous because when I bought this motherboard, it was labeled as broken. Yeah, let's go over all the parts now. The start of this build and every PC build is the CPU. Activision recommends a Ryzen 5 1600X or an i7-6700K for their CPU. However, I recommend to go with this Ryzen 5, the Ryzen 5 3600. This thing can be found all day for under 60 bucks. If you can't find it locally or on eBay, just go to AliExpress and they sell it for $54 with free shipping. But I managed to buy two of them on eBay from one seller, so it came out to like under 50 bucks for each. But yeah, this Ryzen 5 is a beast, six cores, 12 threads, and it's on a way newer architecture than the recommended Ryzen 5 1600X definitely get this. And then for RAM, they recommend 12 gigabytes, but it's basically standard to just get 16 gigabytes or 32. Shopping for 12 would just take too much hassle. I managed to buy this PNY Anarchy kit. It's two by eight gigabytes clocked at 3,200 megahertz. Now actually one of them is faulty, so I am going to be returning it. I just found that out when I had them all on a test bench 
because it was only showing eight gigabytes of RAM in the motherboard. And then I swapped it with a Corsair Vengeance Kit and all 16 were showing. If you're going used, look for 16 gigabytes clocked at 3200 megahertz and try not to pay any more than 25 bucks or if you're going new, you can literally buy anything for around $30. Then for the graphics card, they either recommend an AMD RX 6600 XT, an NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti, or a newer graphics card, the RTX 3060. And that's what I'm going with, this RTX 3060. It's from like in pre-built or something like that. I don't know, it has a really ugly green logo, but it's an RTX 3060 and I paid right around $150 on eBay. If you don't wanna use this graphics card, you can probably get away with using the RX 5700 XT. That GPU is around $130 and it gets similar performance to the RTX 3060, which sells for like 200 bucks. And then for the rest of the recommended specs, they recommend an SSD with at least 102 gigabytes of available storage. Luckily, we have the storage covered. I have this one terabyte Gen 3 NVMe SSD. It was bought used on eBay for right around 40 bucks. Now, the last part I wanna talk to you about is the motherboard. This is a gigabyte Aorus B450M. And like I said, it was labeled as broken on eBay, but I decided to take a deeper look at it. I read the description and the seller actually said, this thing is functioning. The only broken thing on it is the little RAM clip right here. I even sent the seller a message just to confirm. I was like, so the only thing broken is the RAM clip and the motherboard itself actually functions. And he confirmed that for me. So I went ahead and purchased it. And we even got the IO shield. I'm gonna count this as a really awesome win because B450s are super hard to find for a respectable price, especially in used condition. People still want like $80 for them. At that point, you might as well buy new, but for under $50, I'm going to buy this every day of the week. And to power all these components, I'm using this thermal take 700 watt, 80 plus bronze. This thing was like five bucks plus shipping on eBay. It tests perfectly on a power supply tester and it's in really good condition and we also got the power cord with it. Time to build. The only bad thing about this motherboard, it didn't come with the mounting hardware for the cooler, but luckily I have an old one left over from another motherboard that was dead. And to cool the CPU, I'm gonna use this ID Cooling SE214 XT ARGB. To keep the all clean black look, I decided to swap out the RGB fan for this all black fan. But now it's time to use the new Okino Cypress 7. Now what I'm really surprised about is the fact that Activision doesn't recommend to use an IO shield. They don't even recommend a power supply, but I guarantee you'll need one of those. I'm almost done with this build. I'm just going to install these black cable extensions and then we just have to install the graphics card. Oh crap, I guess I forgot the SSD. I just finished the build. Let's see if it all works now that it's put together. Okay, fans are spinning. Other than this one, actually. Why is it not spinning? Spin. Okay, there we go. Now it's spinning. Hmm, yeah, um, plugging in this might help. Oh my goodness. I didn't even fully plug in the GPU. Let's hope I'm not this big of a bot in Black Ops 6. It's all working now. I always laugh when I make simple mistakes like that. It always makes me feel like it's my first time ever building a PC. It's so easy to look over plugging in like all the little cables. But I'm going to install Windows on this thing so it's fully ready for the launch date on October 25th. We have made it as the launch date. We're in like the first lobby. Let's go ahead and click play on the multiplayer and see what's up. Before we load in, let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings. We're at an FOV of 90, we'll bump that up to 120, go over to quality, we're at extreme, 1080p 100%, so native 1080p, upscaling is set to that. We'll turn it off just to see the raw performance, and then extreme, it should be all high settings. Yeah, we're looking at all high settings. Let's see what we can do. Okay, graphics look 
pretty good at all high settings. Let's first take a look. Okay, we're at uh, under 60 FPS. Activision said we'd be able to play at around high settings. Didn't say all high settings, so we will go ahead and tweak them. Okay, I'm dead. Was a little lag spike right there in two. All right, we should get A. Oh my. I forgot about the new movement. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Temperatures are looking really good. Top left corner. GPU's at 99%. Basically pegged at 100% utilization. We are under 60 FPS. Let's go ahead and tweak the settings. I'm gonna go through, turn off the environment. On, off. And then for shadow and lighting, those are also gonna be, I'm gonna put on low. And then I'm gonna keep the details and textures on high because that's what matters. <laughs> okay, we are over 60 FPS, averaging about 80 looks like I'll be honest this does feel like another cod is you know cod's cod at the end of the day but it still is pretty fun I think my favorite cod of all time is Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and then Black Ops 4 right next to it yeah this one you know it's pretty fun well, 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 this PC handles Call of Duty pretty well. I'm not the best at the game, but I know I'll get better if I keep playing. But yeah, really good value from this computer, and I know it can play a lot of other games, especially with that six core Ryzen 5, 16 gigs of RAM, the one terabyte SSD, and the RTX 3060. Really good value PC for the money. And the total cost for it was $453. So that means we are under our $500 budget to build this computer. Go and drop your thoughts down below on this computer. And also all the parts are linked in the description if you want to build it. And big thank you to Okinos for sponsoring this video. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, go and smash the like button. Subscribe if you loved it. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.